add, add, add to what Kate said, um, and this is clearly a, a great project and, and something that really will, will last forever. Um, I mean, I stand here really as, as somebody clearly involved of, in all that, in, in seeing people out there running around, playing football, playing cricket, playing tennis. I mean, that's where I come from, the, the world of sport. And I want to ask these kids a question. Do any of you know what is going to happen next year on July the 27th? What's going to happen? Um, the Olympics. The Olympic Games is going to start. <laughs> Somebody's going to light the Olympic flame in the Olympic Stadium, which is literally a, you know, a stone's throw from here. If I was a javelin thrower, it would be a stone's throw from here. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be in this country seeing the Olympic Games come to this country. And that's incredible. Uh, and I'm very proud to be part of uh, an ambassador to the British Olympic team and to be part of the, the bid team that, that, that fought to try and win the bid all those years ago, and we did win. And uh, there was one word that always came up when Sebastian Coe was standing there presenting to the world saying why London should have the, the Olympic Games. And, and one of the words that, that, that kept coming up, and one of the words that keeps comes up, is the word legacy. And there's been a real challenge for people as to what, what is going to be the legacy of the Olympic Games. And for some people it's the infrastructure, the, 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 the fantastic infrastructure that's been built over in Stratford that wouldn't have happened without the Olympic Games coming here. Uh, for some people it's, it's about medals and whatever, but for me it's always been about one thing. It's been about these guys here. It's been about every child in this country next year knowing what the Olympic Games is, knowing what the Olympic Games stands for, but also being proud that we have the Olympics here and watching so many of the greatest athletes from all over the world coming to this country and performing in such a variety of sports. So the real legacy of the Olympics is, is young people getting engaged in sport, enjoying sport and carrying that on hopefully, looking back to 2012 saying that was the year we had the Olympic Games. And that cannot happen if we don't have spaces like this around the country. If we don't have areas where kids can just run around and, and, and be active and, and take part in the sport, then that legacy cannot survive. So uh, that's the reason I'm here today. Um, hopefully, you know, the, the legacy of the Olympic Games, but without facilities like this, if we don't keep the parks open around the country, then, then young people just will not have the opportunity to take physical exercise. So, if, so for me, this was a no-brainer, fantastic project, uh, and, and let's really do everything we can to protect um, not just these outdoor spaces, but uh, that, that in many ways protect the health of, of the future generation. Thank you.